What was your take uh, on John Brennan describing how the Christmas bomber was handled as uh, one of the key terror guys for the president? Did he do a good job presenting Look, the administration's... Mark, Mark, Mark Thiessen, who uh, has a new book out called Courting Disaster, had put, po pointed out that this administration itself said bluntly the new terrorism groups would not be required to Mirandize. And, and Tyson, yeah, and, and, and Mark uh, had quotes directly from the Washington Post story in which they created these groups. So to say, well, they should have known that we were going to automatically do this thing because we always automatically do it, although we announced we wouldn't automatically do it. But I find Brennan to be very troubling. I found him equally troubling a few weeks ago when he said we didn't have a smoking gun about this young man. I mean, you know, when somebody's father calls the U.S. Embassy and says, you know, my kid's a little strange recently, off to terrorism camp, maybe you shouldn't give him a visa. <laughs> I don't know that you have to have that. That is a smoking gun. I mean, what, what, what more do you need to know you ought to be careful about I'm this? Just... Brennan keeps making sure. false accusations, apparently, and the latest one was there's little difference between military and civilian custody. That's not true, is it? There's no right uh, to remain silent in the military custody, no right to a lawyer present during interrogation. I mean, if he keeps missing speaking uh, and, and misrepresenting the facts shouldn't shouldn't this guy who advises the president resign well remember I think number one we have to put him into context this is an individual <clears throat> he's a staffer he is a White House staffer he's kind of a mini czar uh, I'm not sure that uh, you know that he resigns I think this is really a decision that the president has has to make his leadership is trying to form a bipartisan relationship with Congress, at least his professionals are. Right. This guy is poisoning the well. I think the president probably should fire this guy because he's off base and inconsistent with how national security issues should be dealt with. Okay. The president needs to make the call. Let's go to the, back comes, to the political argument. Oh, no, they, 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 these are policy arguments. I understand that. These are policy arguments. This is arguments. the policy arguments, these, but the political argument, and, and what I think is the White House did sit there silently as members of your party beat them up over this, and in the meantime, they were getting this information in those days. There was a, a five- or six-day window where they were getting information from Abdul Muttalib. They had briefed uh, a number of you on this. No, they had not briefed us on any information. Now, wait a minute. They're, they're they saying... briefed you that they were getting information, correct? No. They said they got information. Now, uh, I, I am seeing the White House coming up with uh, new facts that they are providing, but they should never have leaked what he said. I believe that, that Mirandizing him was very bad. I, I want to see them change that. Uh, I believe they should never disclose information that the intelligence community said was highly sensitive. It was so sensitive they only briefed four members of the Senate. On Monday, on Tuesday, the White House proudly announces it because they can't take the heat because Republicans have criticized them. Well, explain your policy. Let's argue about the policy. Don't destroy the value of intelligence. But has this been too politicized? Risk. I mean, but is there, do you, does, does the Republican Party deserve some blame here? I understand you're calling, you're saying that the White House is politicizing this, but it seems like this has been a two-way street of politicizing this terror. Uh, Give debate. me a break. That is, I mean, they're the ones that went out and called p politics and they played politics. The Deputy Press Secretary, Bill Burton, said very clearly, as you have indicated, that uh, uh, there, there was criticism from Republicans that what we were doing wasn't working now, that people find out that what we're doing is working. They're criticizing the fact that we're saying that's what working is working. That's political. Now, all throughout the Bush administration, there were political attacks on the Bush administration. Sometimes I disagreed with them. But that wasn't a grounds to destroy the uh, value of the intelligence they'd gathered by announcing what they'd gotten and putting the lives of innocent cooperating family at risk. That's what they did. And this is, this is the first of a long list of, of errors I believe have been made in policy. I want to see the White House change that policy to make our country safe. And now Kit Bond, one of those Republicans, is calling for Brennan to resign. Yeah, we had Kit Bond on uh, yesterday on the, on the radio, then we had Pete Hoekstra on the radio. They are just astounded and befuddled that this guy continues to dig like this and act so political in condemning everybody else for acting political.